Chicago TO. Very nice guy. Morse code. Uh, sleeping in my front room. So, you know, no favorites. I think I think I can trust you to have their read on what Morse code wants to do, right? Morse code. You has meet a man in real life, you meet a man in melee, yeah. as they say. Morse code got the PM tag on. Forbidden game. Yep. Or that could be for you know, he's just an afternoon guy. Yeah. But you can see here, oh, crouch cancel down smash. You already know. But Morse code and Unsure have played each other actually a lot at uh, regional events. Mm -hmm. they, Do you know if they play like hold that L or? Uh, I'm not sure. I think they played, if they went hold that L too, they might have gone. But um, Morse code was talking that he's played in like the last three regionals that he's gone to. Hmm. And uh, Unsure was talking about it during our doubles game. Yeah, I think that's kind of like is in Unsure's favor. I feel like Fox Sims is one of those matchups where like the Fox start out starts out by default with less knowledge than the Samus, but like as it goes on, I feel like Foxes can like turn that into what feels like an even matchup and it's something that's like really heavily Fox favored. But and, like you can already see like Unsure is going in with the up smashes, you know, maybe he can dodge a counterattack as Morse Code's feeling like he wants to crouch cancel. And I think it kind of comes down to this, right? Because if you're the Samus, you don't really want to lose this crouch cancel percent that you still have. Because definitely early percent, a lot of what you want is going to come off a of crouch cancel. So here, now see, he gets it there. Let's see if he gets his edge guard. Oh, a bit too fast. And, you know, now at the next stop, when Unsure comes in, Morse Code's not going to have that option to get any low percent combo started. But, you know, maybe he doesn't need it if he can land these grabs. Samus's grab, like, really at best a 50-50. There's, like, very few guaranteed setups that'll lead into it, but you can see there, it's... It certainly has a lot... Oh. Yeah, it's Samus says, oh, you know, Fox lasers... Let me show you what a real laser's like. I mean, there's the tournament winner. Oh. That's twice now, I'm sure, has been able to get around the up tilt, but... He wasn't able to capitalize with the ledge dash, or really, like, even an aerial from ledge yeah, might have hit Morse code there. Two times he just got caught there by wondering. So you know you're a good Samus when you can get those, when you can tether in from the side of Battlefield and, like, still live. I feel like the sign of, like, you know, a not-so-practiced Samus is one who isn't really able to survive those, like, kind of weird scenarios that you get with Samus' recovery. And, like, that's so critical for Samus, too, right? Like, if Samus has one strength, then she lives forever. That's a setup. Oh, again. I'm sure it's been able to get some wacky bomb stuff, too. I feel like an Unsure has been like this, but if an Unsure has been playing better at, like, getting off the ledge in the game, it would have been like, right now. Yeah. And I think, like, with Samus, that's kind of always how it goes. Like, you just take what your opponent gives you, and, like, when you need to force it, though, is when it gets into crunch time. But... Here, Morse Code just playing pretty slow, just walking around, holding center. He knows that Unsure is going to be the one who's pressured to make a lead. And... I feel like that's kind of what Samus really wants you to do. Like, it's much worse for Samus if you have to approach your opponent and force them to make a response. You'd much rather be reactive. I'm sure just playing really platform heavy a lot. He's, you know, it's not bad against Samus at all, but like, you gotta wonder with a player with such good defensive tech as Morse Code, like, what's his plan? Because I don't think he'll be able to just find one neutral win and convert into like a wave shine up smash and then kill off the top or something. Yeah, so. Oh. Plus, it's giving him like when he's playing on the platform so often, like, he's just essentially giving him center stage, which is more so his thing. Sam is definitely one of the characters who, like, really, really needs center stage. Like, Samus, Peach, Mark, they're characters that are must, much worse at the edge. So if you're conceding center to them, that's, like, really a sign that that player is, like, going to get ahead in the match. Takes the first game. I believe this is winner's round one. Don't quote me on it, but, you know, from this point... Fox does have some good counter picks. He has Stadium. He has FD. I think those are generally in his favor, but you know, so is everywhere in the matchup. If you ask some people, so is every every stage for every game. Oh. 
And of course, and it also just, uh, pushes him right out of ground. Huh. So Unsure just went for an up throw up end there. I'm wondering, like, maybe Morse code was getting hit by those when they had previously played. Because, um, it's pretty surprising that you'd go for that. I feel like that's one of the things that Fox learned first is that up throw up air does not work. Unsure being forced into a shield a lot by the missiles. I think, you know, there's some other responses. You should be able to just, like, nair through the missiles, maybe. Or just, like, use your hitboxes to work through, and I think that works to your benefit, especially compared to shielding, but... Morse code is really taking advantage of, kind of like, this defensive style that Unsure is being forced to take. Oh. It's a little iffy. Weak bear there. Still has a chance to live. Uh, Morse code punishes the cross-up all the way. And he's up a stock plus. I think that kind of play where the fox is just dash dancing around and not like going in with something like a nair, which would take space. To me, that always looks like I really want an up smash. I really want an up air. And like, if I'm worse cut, I'm just sitting in shield as soon as he does that because I am not scared of a grab at all. Up there, yeah. Nice. Takes the jump with it. Yeah, I feel like. Um, even though I'm sure it's been kind of defensive in some places, he hasn't really been doing like, well, they're going to run up shield that much. Uh, it's kind of like being forced to be defensive as opposed to taking like advantageous. Oh, right there. Uh, missed lasers, but not punished. Oh, you can see like Morse code's plan come out there a little bit. He really wants to just see what Unsure wants to do. Because he, he feels confident that he's able to cut off Unsure's options at the start of every in interaction. Right? Like he doesn't feel like he needs to force anything or make like a read. He can just take things away one one bit at a time. And and it looks like it's working out to his advantage. Wrong way on that charge shot, but punish on me. Oh. <laughs> See now this is this is where like things can get really bad if you're the fox. Just like generally, it's when the floaty's at high percent and you feel the need to get a kill. Oh, drop some there. Huh. Weird bounce smash there. Maybe might have just been a down angle forward smash, but Oh, caught him in a roll too. Just, you never want to do that as Sam. It's probably a botched wave dash out of shield, but. You know, if I'm worse than, I'm just taking it slow. I'm dodging the wall so I don't get infinite. And I think, you know, maybe you don't have it in the bag, but it's a very comfortable position. Weak down smash there. Oh, Nair. The wall serves to Unsure's benefit, but... That'll take the set. And Morse code continues his run, but, you know, unsure, he's not out of it yet. Oh, yeah. here, here we got Fluid versus Forest. 